In the vast expanse of the cosmos, there are billions of galaxies, each containing millions of stars. A pressing question emerges. Where are they? This mystery, known as the Fermi Paradox, casts a shadow over our understanding of the universe. At its core lies a chilling mystery that despite the staggering number of potentially habitable planets scattered throughout the cosmos, we have yet to detect any definitive signals from extraterrestrial civilizations. So join us today as we get into the scariest paradox solutions that have tried to explain why we haven't met our alien friends till now. You've probably come across the term Fermi Paradox at some point. In its essence, this concept raises a compelling question. If intelligent life is abundant in the universe, then why haven't we encountered any signs of it? Interestingly, the physicist Enrico Fermi, after whom the paradox is named, didn't dedicate his career to the pursuit of extraterrestrial life, as some might assume. Instead, Fermi is renowned for his groundbreaking work in nuclear physics, which included the creation of the first functioning nuclear reactor. Origin of the Fermi Paradox The origin of the Fermi Paradox can be traced back to a casual conversation at a lunch gathering in Los Alamos, where Fermi and his colleagues were discussing a humorous cartoon depicting aliens pilfering trash cans from New York City. It was during this light-hearted exchange that Fermi posed his famous question, where is everybody? His inquiry wasn't so much about the existence of alien life, but rather the absence of concrete evidence supporting the notion that extraterrestrial beings had visited Earth. As the conversation continued, Fermi and his colleagues delved into the topic of interstellar travel. Fermi pondered the challenges and feasibility of such voyages, ultimately expressing skepticism about the likelihood of advanced civilizations mastering this form of travel. He suggested that either interstellar flight might be beyond the reach of technological civilizations, not worth the immense effort it would entail, or that such civilizations might not endure long enough to develop this capability. It's important to note the context in which Fermi made these remarks. This was in 1950, a time when human-made rockets had not yet breached the confines of Earth's atmosphere. Therefore, Fermi's skepticism about interstellar travel was grounded in the technological limitations of his era. Contrary to widespread perception, the Fermi paradox, as commonly interpreted, does not precisely capture Fermi's initial views. Although the paradox questions the presence of advanced extraterrestrial civilizations, Fermi's skepticism was mainly about their capability for interstellar travel. This skepticism stemmed from the practical obstacles associated with space exploration and the scientific constraints of his era. The Fermi paradox has evolved into a thought-provoking concept that challenges our assumptions about the prevalence of intelligent life in the universe. While Fermi himself may not have formulated the paradox in its current form, his insights into the limitations of interstellar travel continue to stimulate discussions about the potential existence of extraterrestrial civilizations and the vastness of the cosmos. Well, if Fermi wasn't the originator of the Fermi paradox, what exactly is this paradox about? We are lone thinkers. Back in 1975, an astronomer named Michael Hart stirred up a cosmic storm with his bold statement, they are not here, therefore they do not exist. He argued that if there were intelligent beings out there in the universe, they would have already spread across our galaxy, the Milky Way. But since we haven't bumped into any alien neighbors or detected their presence, Hart concluded that we might be all alone in this vast expanse of space. Fast forward to 1980, and another physicist, Frank Tipler, took Hart's idea even further. Tipler pondered where civilization would find the colossal resources needed to colonize billions of stars. His solution was intriguing. Imagine creating a super smart machine, almost like a human, but smarter and able to make copies of itself. You could send one of these machines to a nearby star and instruct it to build more of itself using materials from that star system. Those new machines could then venture out to other stars, repeating the process until the whole galaxy was teeming with these self-replicating marvels. But here's the twist. We haven't spotted any of these self-replicating machines, according to Tipler. So, he reasoned, if they don't exist, maybe we're the only ones in the galaxy who've reached this level of intelligence. So what do you think? Are we truly the lone thinkers in the Milky Way? Or might there be something else going on out there that we haven't quite figured out yet? 
Well, if we consider that we're in the dark about how many advanced alien civilizations might be out there capable of such monumental achievements. However, a man named Frank Drake devised an equation that offers a rough estimate of the number of civilizations in our galaxy that could potentially emit detectable signals. According to Drake's equation, there could be thousands of such civilizations. Dark Forest Theory Over the years, numerous theories have been proposed to address the Fermi Paradox, but one in particular stands out for its eerie implications. This theory, known as the Dark Forest Theory, was penned by Chinese science fiction writer Lu Sixin and is possibly the most unsettling of them all. According to this theory, the universe is a vast dark forest, with us and other advanced civilizations akin to hunters. In this forest, a hunter avoids lighting a torch to avoid drawing attention. Being noticed might seem harmless, but it could also attract the attention of a lurking predator or another competing hunter. While interstellar travel remains beyond our current capabilities, the concept of interstellar communication is theoretically possible with today's technology. For example, lasers have the potential to carry signals across vast galactic distances, although these transmissions would be subject to significant delays due to the speed of light constraints. Humanity has progressed from simply broadcasting radio signals to intentionally sending out targeted messages and spacecraft into the cosmos. Moreover, our inadvertent radio and television broadcasts have been escaping into space for many years, potentially signaling our presence to distant civilizations. So, are we unwittingly making ourselves known in this cosmic forest? Or are we mere whispers in the dark, hoping to avoid the attention of potential cosmic predators? The answers to these questions continue to elude us, remaining just beyond our reach. Voyager Probes the Voyager probes are already journeying beyond our solar system, carrying with them a record of humanity's existence. If an intelligent civilization intercepts them, it could have significant consequences, for better or for worse. Essentially, we have not only lit a torch in the dark forest, but have also sent a signal into the unknown. The next question is, who or what will pick up this signal and decide to investigate? Famed science fiction writer Arthur C. Clarke once remarked that there are two possibilities. Either we are alone in the universe, or we are not. Both prospects are equally daunting. It's important to realize that if we were to make contact with a new civilization, we would have no way of knowing their intentions. They might have observed our behavior and deemed it best to steer clear of us, especially considering our destructive tendencies. There's a chance that we could bring about our own demise without any side interference. On the other hand, if we were fortunate, a more advanced civilization might extend a helping hand, sharing their knowledge and technology to propel us into becoming an interplanetary species. Such a revelation could bring about a newfound peace on Earth. However, we must remain pragmatic and question why another civilization would choose to assist us. It is also plausible that an advanced civilization could perceive us as a threat, prompting them to take a defensive posture. In this situation, they might choose to take preemptive measures to prevent their own destruction, similar to the scenarios portrayed in science fiction tales, such as War of the Worlds. The nature of a first encounter between civilizations remains unpredictable, and it's probable that a civilization with a capability for interstellar travel would have weaponry far more advanced than our own. This notion aligns with the Dark Force theory, which suggests that civilizations may opt for silence out of fear of being targeted and destroyed. The unsettling reality is that we are powerless to alter this course of events. It's possible that we've been making a lot of noise in the cosmic neighborhood without realizing it. While there could be numerous extraterrestrial civilizations out there aware of our existence, we might not have detected them simply because they haven't been broadcasting signals like we have from Earth. Communicational Intelligence So let's suppose there's an intelligent civilization that has stumbled upon Earth in their cosmic explorations. They might not see us as a threat, given that we haven't achieved the technological prowess for interstellar travel. However, they could be observing us, waiting to see if we evolve into a peaceful interstellar species, or if our planet becomes uninhabitable due to our actions. Yet it would be incredibly challenging for a more advanced civilization to stop unintentionally emitting radio signals into space, much like we do, unless they possess a vastly superior understanding of communication technology that is beyond our current comprehension. We would likely detect their signals as well. This leads us to another possibility. Perhaps there is no one out there to communicate with. This notion is difficult to fathom, especially considering the sheer number of Earth-sized planets estimated to exist in habitable zones, up to 40 billion, according 
according to some estimates. The idea that none of these planets harbor intelligent life capable of communicating with us seems improbable. However, it's essential to consider that our methods of communication might not align with those of other civilizations. They could be using forms of communication that are beyond our current capabilities to perceive or understand. In this scenario, they might be attempting to reach out to us in ways that we simply cannot detect. Another factor to ponder is the vastness of space and the limitations of our technology. Our ability to detect signals from extraterrestrial civilizations might be constrained by the vast distances involved. Despite our best efforts, we might not have the means to detect signals from civilizations located too far away. Well, we can say that the search for extraterrestrial intelligence is still in its infancy. Our current efforts might not have covered enough ground to draw definitive conclusions about the existence of other intelligent civilizations in the universe. The Great Silence the Great Silence Hypothesis offers a thought-provoking perspective. Despite the potential abundance of habitable planets in the universe, the absence of detectable signals from advanced civilizations could be attributed to their deliberate choice not to communicate with civilizations like ours. This hypothesis speculates that highly advanced civilizations, possibly belonging to a Type 3 civilization on the Kardashev scale, might view us as insignificant and not worthy of their attention. Alternatively, they could be using communication methods beyond our current technological capabilities, making their signals undetectable to us. As we delve into the mysteries of the cosmos and ponder the existence of life beyond our planet, it's crucial to keep exploring and questioning. If you're intrigued by the possibilities of what lies beyond, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. The Guy in Bottleneck Dr. Aditya Chopra's Guy and Bottleneck Hypothesis presents a sobering possibility. It suggests that the emergence of intelligent life is a rare and precarious phenomenon. According to this theory, alien civilizations, if they ever existed, might have faced insurmountable challenges in stabilizing their planet and creating the necessary conditions for the evolution and sustainability of complex life forms. The window for the emergence of intelligent life could be narrow, with many civilizations perishing before reaching a level of technological advancement that would enable interstellar communication. The Great Filter Just say that the universe is full of planets that could potentially support life, providing perfect environments for living creatures to evolve. However, there's a cat. These planets aren't always stable over long periods, which could make it hard for life to emerge and last. A recent study by Australia National University looked at wet, rocky planets like Earth and found that they go through a lot of changes when they first form. In the beginning, these rocky worlds are chaotic. They can be a hot mess, like a ball of lava getting hit by space rock, or they can be freezing cold like a giant ice cube. These extreme changes make it tough for life to develop, giving it only a short time, just a few hundred million years, to start and survive. This crucial period is when any potential alien life forms would have to make it work on a planet like Earth. When you think about how Earth has changed, from being really hot to really cold and then back again. It's amazing that life has not just survived, but thrived. Life on Earth has shown incredible strength, adapting to extreme changes in its environment. However, this study tells us that habitable planets face big challenges in their early years, which could affect any potential alien life forms. This research has big implications. It suggests that the struggle to support life on a wet, rocky planet in the habitable zone goes beyond just how rare life might be in the universe. It raises the idea that habitable environments might be shaking during the crucial first billion years of a planet's life. This makes us think about the bigger picture of how life emerges in the universe where the mix of space forces and planet movement can either help life grow or make it impossible. With these new ideas, we start to ask questions. How often do planets manage to stay stable during this crucial time? What things make a planet's early years stable or unstable? Could there be aliens facing the same challenges out there, trying to make it work on their planets? These questions help us understand how life might emerge and survive in the universe. Early Birds Dr. Peter Beruzzi's study challenges our perception of Earth's cosmic timing. Contrary to the notion that we are latecomers in the universe, the study suggests that Earth is actually among the first planets to form in the grand scheme of cosmic evolution. This implies that the majority of planets that will ever exist are yet to be born, and we are merely the early pioneers of intelligent life in the cosmos. If this is true, it could explain why we have not yet encountered other advanced civilizations. They simply have not had enough time to evolve and develop advanced technologies for interstellar communication. The Solitary Survivor 
No one denies that we've witnessed incredible changes right here on Earth, from extreme volcanic eruptions to ice ages. Despite these upheavals, it can be daunting to consider that we might be the only intelligent life in our galaxy, or even in the entire universe. Perhaps, over the course of billions of years, other civilizations have risen and fallen, leaving us as the solitary survivors in the cosmos. When it comes to the Fermi Paradox, the question is, why haven't we encountered any evidence of extraterrestrial civilization? Some argue that there isn't really a paradox at all. The simple truth is that we don't yet know if travel between star systems is even possible. While it's tempting to speculate about the existence of aliens, the fundamental limitations of our current scientific understanding make it impossible to reach a definitive conclusion. UFO Sighting Recent events, such as the declassification of thousands of UFO documents by the Central Intelligence Agency, have sparked renewed interest in the search for extraterrestrial life. Despite the excitement generated by these revelations, many of the documents contain inconclusive evidence regarding unidentified objects observed on aircraft instruments. This leaves the possibility open that extraterrestrial beings could be present among us without our knowledge. Nevertheless, Experts in the field of UFO research remain optimistic about the prospect of discovering evidence of alien life. With advancements in technology and the increasing number of telescopes scanning the skies, there is a growing sense of optimism that we may soon find signs of extraterrestrial existence. The sheer volume of data being collected and analyzed from these instruments makes it increasingly likely that we will uncover something significant in our search for extraterrestrial life. Dead Space Theory in the context of our search for extraterrestrial life, the dead space theory presents an intriguing perspective. This theory suggests that even if life is abundant in the universe, the vast distances between stars and galaxies create a sort of dead space that makes interstellar communication and travel impractical or even impossible. We can imagine the immense distances between stars, each separated by unfathomable stretches of empty space. While the universe may indeed be teeming with potentially habitable planets and even advanced civilization, the sheer vastness of space poses significant challenges for these civilizations to interact or even become aware of each other's existence. From this viewpoint, the Fermi Paradox takes on a new dimension. It's not just a question of why we haven't encountered extraterrestrial civilizations. Rather, it becomes a consideration of the immense cosmic distances that could be preventing such encounters from occurring. Even if intelligent life is abundant, the distances involved may simply be too great for meaningful communication or travel to take place within any reasonable timescale. A long road ahead. In the context of the recent interest in UFOs and the possibility of extraterrestrial visitation, the dead space theory raises questions about the feasibility of such encounters. While some UFO sightings remain unexplained, the theory suggests that if these sightings are indeed of extraterrestrial origin, the distances these beings would have to travel to reach us are mind-bogglingly vast. This raises further doubts about the practicality of interstellar travel and the likelihood of such visitation. Despite these challenges, proponents of the dead space theory don't discount the possibility of finding evidence of extraterrestrial life. They argue that while direct contact or communication may be improbable, indirect evidence, such as signals from distant civilizations or the discovery of microbial life on other planets, remains within the realm of possibility. So, the question remains. Do we believe that we will uncover evidence of life beyond our planet in the near future? And should we continue our efforts to find signs of extraterrestrial life? Share your views in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for the latest update on the cosmic events around us. Until next time, bye bye